Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to do a video on plastic restoration. I'll show you the tools that I use and the steps that I go through to take your plastics from this to this and give it a great shine. Let's get started. On this project, we'll start out with the utility knife blade to scrape away the crusty surface. And then we'll go on to the Dremel tool with your abrasive wheels to get into the areas that I can't get with the utility knife. Next, we'll use the wet and dry sandpaper from 400 grit to 2000 grit. Heat gun for the heat treatment. And then on to polish with the uh, bench buffer and soft cotton wheel. Okay, here we go. Step one. We're going to remove uh, all the crusty stuff, surface oxidization. You can see that oxidization, that white stuff coming off. I'm just using kind of a light to medium pressure, I'm not pressing really hard. If there's a stubborn area, I'll press a little bit harder. So I'm going to do this on the entire piece, get all this stuff scraped off. I can already see the some of the color in the plastic starting to come back. Um, you can see that darker red color getting the oxidization off. Those places will actually be raised where the stickers covered it and you can feel little edges right in there and it kind of helps smooth that, that down somewhat. Okay, we've got all the utility knife scraping done that I can pretty much get to and I'm going to go to the uh, Dremel tool, the abrasive wheels on it next. Okay, here we go on to step two. I've got the uh, Dremel tool set up. I'm probably going to run about half speed on here. It's about four or six. And I've got uh, one of the finer uh, abrasive wheels on. So I'm going to uh, start hitting the areas that I couldn't get to with the utility knife. Okay, on to step three. We got the uh, Dremel tool and abrasive uh, discs uh, done. I got into these uh, edges right here. And we will start wet sanding. I'm gonna start out with the 400 grit. Start sanding away. We'll move from the 400 grit all the way up to at least 2000. We'll see what it looks like then. Okay, the 400 grit uh, sanding is done. Starting to see, and you know, some improvements. 600 grit. And we'll start wind sanding that. Okay, done with the 600 grit. Starting to get smoother. Cleaning up nicely. So on to some more sanding. Now we'll go to 800 grit. And I think this is my last piece, so I better order some more. Okay, next up is 1000 grit. Got done with the 800 grit and basically rinse and repeat and sand it all over again. You're just keeping sanding the entire piece. 
or you want to polish. And again, I'm not sanding the underside. I'm just going to do the top side. So on to 1000. Okay, 1000 grit's done. So we're on to uh, 1200 grit. Got all that sanded down. And we will continue on with 1200. 1500's up next. And sand the tire fender with that. 1500 grit is done. Now we'll go to 2000 grit and sand it entirely again. And after that, we'll take a look at it. Um, that'll determine uh, if it's sanded down good enough. And if I think it is, I might go on to heat treatment next. And we're on to step number four. We'll uh, get the heat gun and heat it up. We're done with the heat treatment. You can see some of the old stickers that were on here. There was a Fox sticker on there from back in the day. Looks like maybe an AXO. You can see the original caution stickers are like kind of permanently etched in there. Uh, maybe a Holman Racing JT sticker. It's kind of cool. It's kind of well like restoring some of these old fenders retain some of the history of the bike and we're on to step five now I got the uh, buffing wheel set up and we're gonna polish it out so I've got the softest cotton uh, wheel I've got on there it's really soft if you use anything harder than this it's gonna be uh, really difficult because it will burn the plastic very quickly and even with this one I want to be careful with it so I'll apply light to medium pressure I'll have to keep moving and it's pretty easy if you put too much pressure on it to mess it up it'll uh, mar it up and then you'll you'll have to go back and kind of sand that back out I've done that before and it happens um, if you do just stop and uh, you can take some sandpaper and sand that area back out and then start repolishing okay here we go step five All right, we're done with polishing. And the fender turned out really nice. It's gonna look good on this bike. This is the gas tank that I restored about a month ago using the same process. It turned out really nice as well. I'm pretty happy with it. So you can use this process to uh, clean up uh, ATV, motorcycle, dirt bike, Whatever kind of plastics you have, you might want to restore. You can use this process. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.